Hey guys, Kyle, the Death Knight of Anime here, bringing you my review for One Piece Chapter 963. And before I get into the review, I may as well address the elephant in the room. As you all know, I, I uploaded a video even even before this one that I pretty much addressed the whole thing with, with Kappa and whatnot, and for the most part, it seems I'm going to be, my channel might be somewhat exempt from this, because I don't make money off this channel, but I'm still trying to, it still feels like I'm walking on eggshells, eggshells because of that hole, because it still feels like I'm walk. I'm st still feels like I'm walking on eggshells because of that whole, um, because of that whole, like, like pretty much terminate, like, termination if you're, if you're, if you're, if your channel isn't commercially viable, so, hope, so, I'm get so so for now I'm just going to try and like like pretty much so for now I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm I'm gonna like I'm gonna pretty much get, I'm gonna be, be labeling a lot of these videos as like as as for adults or something like that because I, I be, only because I, I do end up swearing in a lot of these videos but yeah um with that said though let's <clears throat> Let's get into the review itself. And first off, I actually have to correct myself from last week's video because it wasn't until after, after recording I realized that that from the two who washed up on the shore were actually Neko Mamushi and Iurashi. Even stranger though is that Toei kind of went ahead with the, is that Toei animation kind of went ahead and pretty much spoiled this reveal like way earlier on in the anime and. In many respects, it's actually kind of the biggest problem I had with this chapter is that the anime kind of ruined a lot of the, a lot of the initial events surrounding like like, like from Shineko Mamushi and Inuyasha's arrival on Wano, and but or at least at least at least the first couple of chapters anyway because like I said for some reason like Toei decided to Toei decided to like skip ahead to this skip ahead and, and spoil that fact to us early on but, uh but. But with that, but it, with that said, it was it was still kind of it, it it was it was kind of one of those it was it was one of those reveals anyway where we're looking back. I realized okay, those are those are actually animal. When I looked at one of like one of those like one of those bodies on the on the shore, I realized one of them looked like 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 animal ears or cat ears. So yeah, I, I realized after after posting my my last week last week's review that yeah it was um. It, it was Nekomamushi and Inurashi, so yeah. Um, so, and with that, with that being said, though, the the one thing that th this chapter definitely excelled at by introducing us by introducing us to the by introducing us to, to from the, the younger versions of Inurashi, Nekomamushi, and Kawamatsu, is showing us how that how even after Odin fixed fix one problem in Wano, there was always another one and and in terms of our introduction introduction to these three in, in order to, in order to these these three characters like past selves we see that like Inuarashi Nakamushi and Kawamatsu they uh, they and the minks had to deal with equal amounts of racism as the fishmen but what made it worse in this case is that we're, we're, we're pretty much at a we're, we're basically at a time where Zo and Wano had already had already established themselves as allies by this point. Yet, yet, yet even despite this alliance, the Minks were still treated as lesser than human, or or even as demons in some respects, or even as demons. I think in some respects, if if I'm getting the whole the whole crucifixion thing going, like seriously, what you crucify them? Are you are you fucking serious with me? I I don't care if the, if they're like animals. They're still kids. You should not cruci crucifying kids. That's um, yeah. That's that's kind of not cr that crucifying crucifying kids like that. Yeah, that's um, that's pretty. That's pretty fucking. It's pretty fucking bad. Um. And 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 although we didn't see it in the chapter. You can pretty much tell that you can pretty much tell just from pretty much Odin's interference with 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 with, with what those with, with what those guys were doing to, to basically to basically you know Rashi Nagamushi and Kawamatsu just like crucifying them. You could tell 
he, he 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 was very early on again, like pretty much fighting against this. So j j just like he was with with Curry. So it's so, so so by seeing him like stand up stand up for them and whatnot, it's you can kind of get the sense that that, that that over time Odin Odin managed to fix the strained relationship between like b between like b b between Wano and 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 Zoe at some at some point down the line as well. J just in the same way he brought. He he basically brought brought pretty much pre he, brought, he basically he ended up bringing bring like pretty much peace to Curry and and brought it back under one O's banner, um, but and but of course, but but and of course with and and obviously with and and obviously the obviously like obviously the thing is like with with basically and yeah you you could tell that you could tell that with. With pretty much Odin, he 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 wanted he he wanted genuine absolute absolute peace again. Like he, he wanted to make sure that everyone, every, everyone like had 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 found common ground in Wano. He he didn't want it to be a place of hate and hate and bigotry and all that. He, he genuinely wanted he genuinely want, wanted Wano in, in order to be be a place of peace. But 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 the one thing he but and and in but in a way. Just, just, just seeing, just seeing the racism, racism towards like towards the minks and specifically, you know, Rashi and, Ka and Kawamatsu and all them. It it does show the downside to it. It does it does show us the downside to Wano being so like pretty much closed off from the world. Like it, it but 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 by them being closed off, they couldn't properly learn about how about how the rest of the world almost. Almost functions, or or how everyone else like, or how everyone else like pretty much pretty much thinks. So yeah, it it, it is good in showing us how how being closed off isn't always the best. Being closed, how Wano being closed off isn't isn't necessarily the best thing either. Um, now, a few key points to point out with this chapter. Uh, the first is that we finally we finally get to see. That it was in fact Yasui, who basically forced Kinemon and all the others in, into going from Odin's followers to his retainers, and 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 and, and the whole like montage of, of 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 what happens after after Yasui gives them the money in order to buy books and 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 learning supplies and whatnot and just and just them in order to, in order to civilize themselves. J just in that montage, it already it adds a lot more weight behind like Yasui's actions in in the present time, leading all the way up to his death and final words. Now, as as we see that, yeah, Yasui was the one who essentially created the nine red scabbards, but by, by pretty much by pretty much teaching them, training them, and in order to come the in order to become the people who 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 they pretty much are today. So it adds a lot more to the it adds a lot more weight to the to the pretty much connection between like. Between between Odin and Yasui and between Yasui and and Odin and just and everyone too. So yeah, it's, it really just it really just shows how how much how, how much of an important figure that that Prince Yasui actually was in the was was in the grand scheme of this story. Um, the other point to make with this chapter is the tiny panels we see of Odin and his father visiting for like the last time before like Prince Sakuyaki dies with. Orochi suddenly hi silently hiding in the corner with his hands clasped together, and it's obviously he's scheming. Like th th there's there's two things Oda could be trying to show with this: either it's Orochi plotting his next move, or Oda's basically subtly trying to point us in the direction of Orochi having poisoned Odin's father. Which yeah yeah just the fact of, of that of that bubble saying to us that, that that basically that basically Sakuyaki had fallen ill and also showing us Orochi in that same panel uh yeah it it doesn't look good it looks like yeah Orochi almost was the one who who killed Odin's father um or or maybe both cuz either way the, the, you can definitely see that uh, this is at the point in the story where you can definitely see that this is definitely the point where the cogs in Orochi's head are definitely are definitely are definitely turning, and we're seeing his intent in order to take over. We're seeing his intent to, to take over and start to take will start to take shape and, and start to take take form in in his in his mind and head and whatnot, and say, "Yeah, I can. I'm going to rule over Wano someday." Just in that one look, too. It's like it's all. Yeah, he he wants to take over Wano for sure. Um, 
And another thing. Um, and one other thing, too. Uh, Dinch, I think it was the, 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 the pretty much one with the, I, I, I forgot his name. Uh, it's it's kind of eluding me for a minute, but 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 the, but the nine red scabbard, the, the one who hasn't been revealed yet, uh, the, the one with the glasses. Um, I I really don't know at this point. Like I I, I want to I'm I'm not trying. I don't want to give in to the idea that that, that that he's possibly like Zoro's master, but Zoro's master, but. At the same time, he is looking a lot like Zoro's master lately. So, but I don't know. It, it could just be a, it could just be a coincidence of the character design. But yeah, it'll it'll be really interesting to see who he is by who this guy, who he is by the end of this. That's for sure. Um, and oh, mama, let's talk about that ending, cause yeah, Odin meets Whitebeard for the first for the first time, and the thing with this meeting is that we we we've pretty much been building up to the whole to the whole idea of Odin wanting to explore the world, go out to sea, open up one of those borders. This is definitely this is def it's all stuff we've heard of wanting to do, and this is and this is of course where where it all started, cause. Because, as he as he said, I, I, I want to go. I want to sail with you. Odin saw Odin when, when Odin saw they were pirate, Odin saw their ship. He saw an opportunity in order to finally in order to finally achieve his goal. And just and weirdly enough, just looking at this confrontation, I can already see the groundwork for how Orochi and Kaido end up teaming up and how. Orochi en ends up branding Odin a crim cr criminal part, and how <laughs> and Odin ends up branding how Orochi ends up branding Odin, Odin a criminal, like how that all kind of takes form. Which, which the the, the, the in ter in terms of the details, um, it's something I kind of already figured out a while ago. But like like, like there's kind of two parts of this. There's kind of two parts of how I of how I can of how I'm of how I imagine now that that Odin had that Orochi had branded on a criminal, like the part of which is is starting is I I think I kind of figured out a while ago, but now it sh it should be interesting to see how the rest of it plays out. Um, the, the one thing though that the the one the one thing that that Epimus did jump out at me eventually and finally clicked, is that. We, I think we may just get to see what the lost civilization of the Void Century actually is, because, yeah, it's it's obvious that at some that they, I think, I think what actually what this probably, I I imagine, I, I I'm imagining how this how this is going to play out actually, is that, Odin. Is that Odin may have <clears throat> Odin may have like Odin like may, may have kind of learned of like the poem may, may have kind of helped and Odin I think had something to do with the I th Odin I think is going to help in in starting to like like study the poneglyphs while, while while with Whitebeard and then he's um and then it's after that where or he's he's going to join Roger I think I think that's how it's going to play out. But, um, yeah, guys, that's my review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Mr. Crunchyroll. Death Knight of Anime, signing off. Later, guys.